Well, new JP's ended the meeting tonight saying that they wanted more time to be able to explore the sales tax proposal before they put it in front of Washington County taxpayers. New court, new faces, new people. New learning curve. Sheriff addressed the committee tonight asking for a sales tax increase that would fund a jail expansion in Washington County. But the motion was tabled. Some new members say that they want more time to study up on the proposal. Being new on the quorum court, I feel like we're drinking from a fire hose, if you will, when it comes to information. And so I just want everybody to be on the same page, make sure that, you know, we're making decisions for Washington County that are going to impact lives for years to come. And have we done all that? Have we done all of our research? I don't feel that we have. Sheriff Tim Helder assured the committee that his administration has looked into every possibility over the last several years since the jail's been dealing with overcrowding and budget issues. You heard tonight that we have over 50 sleeping on the floor right now. That's not humane. Uh, I've got federal oversight, you know, that tells me it's not humane. So during public comment, people who oppose the tax say that they think too many inmates are detained for immigration violations and they think the jail is holding too many nonviolent offenders. We're already releasing nonviolent offenders, misdemeanors at the rate of 200 plus a month. OK, these are people that I think that the, the courts that have had have sentenced them would argue that they need to be in jail. We have nowhere to put people. Still, people in opposition say that they think the county could find other solutions. We could step back and do something different. We could view all our options and we could maybe set an example that other jurisdictions would follow instead of expanding the jail. Now, the committee also addressed the plan to have each city pay a fee based on, a po on population. As it turns out, they don't need a county ordinance to do this. The county can create interlocal agreements with each city. Now, with this agreement, the cities will have to decide on a per capita fee. Now, the county attorney, Brian Lester, says that this is actually already being done in Pulaski County to help fund their jail. Now, if they do try to move forward with those interlocal contracts, the Washington County the Washington County Quorum Court will have to approve those. Live in Fayetteville, Allison Wise, 4029 News. Okay.